The devil is really, really coming for some of us right now. He wants us to spaz on somebody, okay? So, you know, the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And, you know, we really have to control our emotions, and one of those emotions is anger, okay? And I thank the Lord for self-control because I did not have no types of self-control, especially with that anger, you know, before I came to the Lord. If I had a problem with you, there was no arguing, okay? There was no back and forth. We're fighting, <laughs> okay? We're going to duke it out. Okay, we're going to squash this and we're going to be friends or we're going to be enemies and you're going to go that way and I'm going to go this way. Okay, unless you were my family, that's the only people that I would argue with but because I could not put my hands on my family. I mean, well, I could, but that's where I drew the line. I would not fight my family, so I would hit them with my words, and I would break things, okay? I would smash things, <laughs> anything in sight, like the Tasmanian devil, okay? A lot of times, it was my own property that I would destroy, okay? Like my phones, I went through so many phones because I would break them. Okay, no self control, and I thank the Lord for that. And the devil is out here, you know, he's really, really trying to get us to snap on somebody. And you know, I almost did, okay, I almost did because you know, it's easy to exercise the fruits of the spirit. You know, when you're walking with Jesus and at times it's very difficult because the devil is using these people to come, come after you and you feel like you can't catch a break and one can only take so much, but we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So, yeah, I almost snapped on somebody. <laughs> my mom was there and she was like <laughs> and that was God right there that was God telling me you better you better be quiet okay and exercise that self control so I had to take a deep breath and slip away like Jesus okay once again and then I prayed to the Lord okay spend time with God okay our father right and then I had this dream, okay? I had this dream where I was in this gym class. It reminded me of like gym in high school. And there was like three different classes in the gym. And my class was seated on the floor. And we were listening to the instructor, okay? Okay. Then there was this other class. They had to walk around the gym. So they were doing laps around the gym. And there was this one girl, okay, on the first lap, she stepped on my feet, okay? So, you know, and that, you know, these in these dreams, this is the new Amanda. <laughs> like, even the dreams be different when you come to the Lord, Okay, because the old Amanda would have snapped. <laughs> like there was no, there was no patience, no self control. So this new Amanda in the dream was like, okay, maybe, maybe it was an accident. Okay, so lap two, she comes around, steps on my feet again, and I'm like, this could not have been a coincidence. I think she really out here trying to step on my feet. But I said, you know what, maybe it was just an accident. <laughs> so then the third time, my left foot is stretched out and she steps on my foot again, okay? 
And then I'm like, why you keep stepping on my feet? Okay, I was getting mad. And she looks back and smirks at me. Okay, so then on this fourth lap, I'm watching her as she's approaching me. And then I get mad. And I'm like, Bo, you better not come over here. Okay, you but see, that's how you know when I'm mad. <laughs> if I say Bo or bruh. I'm mad, okay? And I was like, you better not come over here. You better not step on my feet. You better back up right now, right? And then she puts her hands up and she's scared. And she backs up and then I wake up, okay? And I was about to dismiss this whole dream, okay? Because I thought it was just me. But the Lord started speaking to me because in gym, Okay, you are exercising. Okay, so like when you play a sport, you go to gym practice so that you can get better at that sport. And that's what we're doing. Okay, God is training us in practice, okay, to practice the gifts of the spirit. Okay, the fruits of the spirit, which he has given to us and we get better and better at it like an athlete and then he brought this scripture back to my remembrance you know I didn't know it word for word but I knew I knew that that's what he was telling me okay so it's in 1 Corinthians hold on <laughs> sorry it's in 1 Corinthians Chapter 9, verse 24. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs? Okay. But only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every Step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Okay, and that's what the devil is out here trying to do. He's trying to disqualify us. Okay, because if we lose self-control on that anger and spaz on these people um you know we're not practicing what we preach okay we are not doing what we have been trained to do and that you know that's long suffering okay that's that's all the fruits of the spirit right here and if you lose self-control Okay, the love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, the other fruits of the spirit go out the window. Okay, ain't gonna mean no love, no joy, no peace. <laughs> the devil is trying to take that and throw it out the window so that you look like a hypocrite. Okay, and then he's gonna point the finger because he is the accuser. Okay, he's gonna look, look, you don't look so Christian after all. So, you know, slip away and talk to the Lord. All right. Now, you know, these things are easy when you're walking with the Lord. But sometimes, you know, the devil amps it up. He amps it up when you when you about to reach a new level or you about to get something from the Lord because that's what's about to happen. Oh, and when she started backing up in the dream all scared, yeah, there at the appointed time, at the appointed time, these people are going to be silenced, okay? Because she was real quiet, okay? These people are going to be silenced and they're going to start backing up scared, okay? Because they're going to know that the hand of the Lord is on you and they need they need to back up off you. At the appointed time, God is coming down, okay, with an iron fist. And they're going to back up. And they're going to be looking really foolish. They're going to be looking really foolish, okay? So do not let the devil get you because they just want a reaction, okay? But you respond, okay? And you don't even listen. You don't even have to respond, okay? No response is better. Just walk away. 
walk away okay don't even waste your breath because you can't you can't with these people so yeah just shh. the lord says shh because then i'm gonna shush them okay so i love you i hope this blessed you keep fighting the good fight okay keep going to practice and exercising these fruits of the spirit okay and win the prize the eternal prize love you good night